Hello and welcome to Prague, Czech Republic. In this video, we're gonna show you some bizarre laws and laws that are quite often broken in Prague. And I actually just broke one. How did you break the law, Yannick? Is it your hat, maybe your glasses, or the waving of your hand? No, I broke the law just by the fact that I'm guiding you around the city. Because according to the new law, if you want to guide someone or a group, you need to have an official license and have it displayed on you at all times when you're giving a tour or guiding someone. So for the purpose of this video, I'm not a guide. So let's start over again. Hello and welcome to... Don't follow me. Maybe don't even watch this video. Look, I'm not a lawyer, also not a guide, but this is what I got from the law when I read it. It's exactly written like this, and it is bizarre. And there are more bizarre rules and laws we have in Prague, so let's go break them. Just like in many cities around the world, even in Prague, it's illegal to feed the pigeons. But is it really? I actually read the law and it doesn't say anything about feeding the pigeons, but it does say about throwing stuff on the ground. So it is illegal to throw a cigarette butt, a chewing gum or food for the birds. So in a way, if you could hold the food in your hand and the birds can eat it from your hand, then it's perfectly legal. But if you do feed the birds, please keep in mind that there's more than 80,000 pigeons in Prague and they produce more than 320 tons of poop, which comes down to 3.2 kilos a year per pigeon. They're basically a pooping machine. We are on the Charles Bridge and the shot you're looking at is illegal. Make it legal, Honza. There we go, because using a tripod for a steady shot on the bridge, like this one, is against the Prague rules. It's more complicated, let me explain. This rule actually not only applies to the Charles Bridge, but to the entire city of Prague. And no, it does not apply only to tripods, but to anything that can block the road or the sidewalk, for example, a construction or a professional film shoot. In that case, you do need a permit for the city to block the part where you are. But do not worry, it does not apply to like a tourist that is just gonna put a tripod for a couple minutes on the bridge. But when I read the law legally, they probably could find you, but they would never do that, don't worry. Fun fact, if you do want to use Charles Bridge for a film shoot, like a Hollywood movie, then not only you have to pay for each square meter you're going to use up, but also a fee of 250,000 Czech crowns, around 10,000 euros, uh, that you have to pay to the city. This is the famous John Lennon wall. And when tourists come to Prague, they tag themselves on it and they write something on it. And that is actually illegal. The owners of the wall, which is not the city, just recently, about a year ago, decided they do not want people writing on the wall, except for some designated areas. Well, not really sure what the designated area is. From what I could find out, it were these white spots, uh, but people are writing all over the wall. When asked the police, they said, we don't know what the designated areas are. So if we would see someone painting or writing on the wall, we should find them, but we don't really do it. So if you find some random YouTuber online telling you to tag yourself on the Lennon wall, tag yourself on the Lennon wall. Think twice because you can get fined, YouTubers. If you've been to Prague, I'm sure you've seen it. There are dozens of people with red umbrellas offering hop on hop off bus rides in Prague. And that is actually illegal because you cannot offer a service on the street of Prague unless you're inside an office or your store. Well, how can they do that, you ask? It's quite simple. They're claiming to be a charity. And if you're a charity, you can do stuff on the street. So from every ticket they sell on the hop on hop off bus tour, they give a tiny little percentage to a charity, which makes their whole business legal. And that's why it also pisses me off. Many tourists and visitors, when they come to Prague, they believe that it is legal and okay to drink alcohol in public. Many guides actually tell them that. One of the best, most freeing aspects of being in Prague is the ability to drink alcohol in public. Which you can drink outside, in the streets, in public. Prague is great. 
Well, it is not legal to drink alcohol, including beer, in Prague. This law doesn't apply for the entire city, but for many streets and locations. Uh, in a nutshell, it's pretty much the entire city center, like the Wenceslas Square, the Old Town Square, uh, the city parks, the playgrounds. Well, there's more than 831 locations where it's forbidden. So keep that in mind when you walk around with a beer in your hand in Prague, you can be fined. But let's be honest here, a lot of people, including us, violate this law a lot. And on a personal note, I have to tell you a story where I had a couple from Korea staying at my house over on couch surfing, and they actually got a fine from the city cops, 50 euros each, for drinking a beer that they bought in a stand on Old Town Square. Uh, so quite often, the cops will target a foreigner rather than a local. Sad story, but that's how it is. Just trying to be honest. This next law, or in this case sign, that everybody violates may seem that it doesn't make sense, but it does. That sign on the top prohibits every car that measures more than two meters in width, including mirrors, to enter on this bridge. And it's every car that goes by. Every car's over two meters. The reason for that is that if there's a car that is wide and a tram, they will not fit on the bridge and it's causing the trams to get stuck in traffic jams. The sign has been here for decades and nobody seems to care. I've actually looked up a list of dimensions of most used cars in Prague and not even the Mini Cooper Paceman, the model, would not fit within the two meter limit. So any car that crosses the bridge is here illegally. That one for sure. The motorcycle's fine. <laughs> Under any circumstances, we're not encouraging you to violate any rules or laws in Prague. So let's go off the road and move to the sidewalk, Gonza. There we go. Well, those were the rules and laws of Prague uh, that many people violate, sometimes including us. I hope you will be able to come to Prague very soon and enjoy it for yourself without any rule or law violation. And I'll see you then. If you write in the comments below what rules or laws apply in your city, we'll be curious to read them or write us which one of those we showed you seems most bizarre to you. And as you leave the video, hit the like button. And if you liked it and you wanna see more, you can hit subscribe so you'll be notified when we do something new, which is what we do every week on The Honest Guide. You're still here. You're one of those uh, people that watch the YouTube videos till the very end. Well, I'm the same. Uh, I guess you're waiting for the check word. But before I tell you that, I would like to ask you, if you want to support our channel, you can actually join us by clicking the button next to the subscribe button and financially support our channel so we can keep on going. And if you're waiting for the check word, then I'm going to teach you how to say join us, which is psipoitse. Join us, psipoitse. Thank you so much.